Good afternoon or good evening, folks, and welcome to our Scion 2nd Edition Chronicle Actual Play, The Coming Storm. Uh, we're happy to have you with us, and we're happy to be presented here on Onyx Path, and this little thing we're doing here is presented by the beloved nerds. Real quick, we've got a lot to do tonight in what is, I'm anticipating to be probably the penultimate episode of this Chronicle. So... Without further redux, introducing myself, I am Ian. I am the storyteller or story guide, as I believe I've been incorrectly calling it this entire time. Uh, my pronouns are he, him. Um, I'm getting involved in a lot of things. A lot of them are still kind of on the, the back burner right now. So I'll have more information when they come out. Uh, so we're just going to go very quickly. Uh, CJ. Sorry, I was dicking around with my hood. Hi, I'm CJ. Um, my pronouns are they, them. My I'm playing Ro, whose pronouns are also they, them. And I'm super excited to be here. And I've picked out fresh new sets of uh, 10 dice for this session. And uh, let's, let's hope we get some good chances to roll them. All right. Spinning the wheel. No whammy, no whammy. Uh, Logan. Uh, yo, 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 I am Logan. Um, my pronouns are he, him, they, them, whatevs. Um, and yeah, you can find me, uh, Brony Hawk official on Instagram. And that's about it. <laughs> okay. Next oh, I up. Played oh, you played. Yeah. We all know Jericho. That I do. He's a good boy. <laughs> Just the best boy. Uh, Megan. That's me. Hello, my name is Megan. Uh, my pronouns are they, them. I play Lane Carnahan, whose pronouns are also they, them. Sion of Osiris, uh, the very fucking same. Uh, and you can find me pretty much anywhere at Starweaver or at Arch Starweaver, depending on what floats your little boat. Okay. Uh... Oh, and you can find me here uh, on Onyx Path and the Beloved Nerds. Got some stuff cooking. Uh, very exciting stuff. Okay. Um, Ace. Hi, everybody. My name's Ace. I'm playing Nemesis Rex. My pronouns are he, him, so are Nemesis. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Elric underscore Wolfgar for drawings, artwork, painted miniatures like this little guy. You can also find me here on the Beloved Nerds. We've got a Call of Cthulhu game happening, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have a Hollow Earth Expedition game starting up sometime soon, which will be a lot of fun, because who doesn't want to punch Nazis with dinosaurs? Never mind. Okay. Um, I'm just picturing punching Nazis with dinosaurs, and it's... Uh, yeah, like it's, attached to your hands. I'm like I'm, like I'm, a I'm, glove. I'm behind it. Um, <laughs> Got some raptors on there. Yeah. <laughs> Ty. No, it's, it's like... It's like... Um, uh, oh my god, Pacific Rim, except your mech suits are the dinosaurs. You, like, connect with the dinosaurs, oh, and yeah. then you do the things, but the dinosaurs are fighting. Anyway, hi, my name is Ty. Um, <laughs> I play Kaz Olsen. Both of our pronouns are they, them. Um, you can find me on all socials at Hey Tyler Gray, G-R-A-Y. And um, you could just see cosplay and, like, general nerdery um on there and uh you'll see me on some other uh the beloved nerd stuff in the future yeah all right so let's uh lean right into it because when we last left you all off you had uh chartered the char the car on boat again to try to get to this place where you think perhaps osiris is being held um and you popped out not probably as close as you wanted, uh, not the usual way, because down on the sticks, you hit some kind of a, a wall. And so Karin was able to pop you out as close as, as he could. But right now, you are all still on this hill that's overlooking what looks to be a military base with some, uh, looks like a, a hangar. Maybe there's a few drones. Um, it doesn't look super high security there's like a fence around it but it would it, it wouldn't be easy to just to like walk in behind the military base is something is, is something that's like a mountain that looks like it was maybe part of an old mine 
and you can see if you look close enough maybe on the edge of that mine behind the military base is what looks to be a door uh, the other thing that happened last time is that uh, Lane's arm was giving you a pretty strong indication that that's the way Osiris is. So we'll pick up there and what do you all do? Um, we we Bye. go say the layout again. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you're up. So wait, are we we're up against the fence? No, no, you're actually up on a hill, like on the opposite side oh, oh. of the military base and kind of overlooking. So you can see what would be the road leading to the military base. You, you kind of are attractive on that, but you're, you're, you're really above it. Are there, do, are there obvious like uh, back ways that's not like walking through the front door? No. That we could see from our vantage point? Okay. It, it doesn't look like there's anything on because it looks like what they've done is that there's this door in the back and then they've shoved the military base up against that so that anyone wanting to go to this door is going to have to pass through this military base. Cool. Um. Uh, okay. Hmm. I've Kaz. got this covered. Yes. Yeah, I was gonna say, Kaz, but... you uh you're good at making us I mean you did it before. You can I, you make know, us I didn't... look like we belong. I can make me look like I belong. I didn't exactly bring um four other military uniforms with me. Was not exactly prepared for that. Um I don't need it, but that doesn't exactly account for the other three. Okay, why don't you need it? I can pretty much walk into anywhere as long as people don't notice me. I... I mean, I can try to fuck with the cameras and surveillance and stuff in here to uh, ideally not pick us up or not work while we're walking through, but I I can't do anything about people. I can manipulate things, not, well, I can manipulate people too, I guess. While you were kind of thinking about this, those of you who are being observant noticed that the gate opens and there is a jeep that starts to approach from the base with five people in it that you can tell and and the jeep is kind of Singing. going down the road up to the point about where you would be and then the jeep stops and the five individuals are getting out of the jeep and looks like they're coming up the hill towards you are they running they, up that hill no um you guys are high up up enough that it doesn't look like they can see you if we need five uniforms, there's five approaching swiftly. If we each take one, I think that we oh. can get this done quickly. We're just gonna knock them out, right? Well, I mean, these people are... I mean, if they've got the hand thing, I'm not really feeling particularly gentle. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I don't know, I'm just not trying to send anybody to a place where they can't get in right now, you know? A little bit of waiting gives people time to reflect. So are you... Yeah, I guess so. Are you making an effort to, like, edge yourself in an ambush, or...? I'm not. If if Ace isn't... Uh, sorry, if Nemesis isn't, then... Kaz isn't. I might try just to give the element of surprise on a few of them. Um, you know, if they think they know how many, and then it's more. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. Lane will kind of try to stay back. Um, and they will also, uh, just in, like, a bleeding heart moment, just, like, look at Ro with kind of puppy dog eyes and go, 
Will you promise not to kill him? I feel like we don't need to be killing him. You know? Rose, Rose gonna look at them and just be like... Like, are you really trying to kill people? The easiest you had no way problems for me with this to... at the other place. So oh, easiest... I didn't kill anybody! I didn't think that we were killing people. Guns are a little bit unpredictable as far as people bleeding out or not. So I'm not exactly sure I can do... What, what do you call it in the game you play? Non-lethal damage? <laughs> With a gun? But I can try, I guess. Yeah. I I'll I aim mean, for the leg. Ooh, but not the thigh. That's a major artery. I just don't know if we really want to be going around killing people. Like, really? I, 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 I don't know. I just... I've never killed anybody before and I don't really want to see... I mean, I've seen dead bodies before, but I don't want to, like, see it happen, you know? So, um, turning into pills is one thing. You're having uh, a completely normal reaction to this. Um, my only counterpoint is that these people are trying to kill us. Maybe not these five specific people, but their organization is... Yeah. Okay, I'm just... Why don't we try to negotiate with them? We'll ask them nicely if we can just knock them unconscious and take their uniforms. That's well, not the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Well, while you are, are all Must making, have heard some dumb shit. making this plan, they, uh, they're pretty quickly approaching, so they're, they're almost up on you. Now you can see that um, four of them are, are armed with typical sort of automatic weapons um and one of them just has what looks like to be a pistol that's holstered right now but he's got out one of those devices that Ro you may remember from your time in Vesuvius that you broke one of these devices and he the appears scanner? to be yeah he appears yeah. to be looking at the scanner on a person yeah, I, uh, uh Kat. Oh, I was just, the closer and closer that they get, I'm going to try and, like, m disable any electronic, I'm trying to be, like, an EMP right now, or, like, a dead zone, <laughs> trying to okay. wireless interface and just make sure that, uh, they're not telling anybody anything. Okay. Um, Kaz will, like, to transform, uh, like, a, a disguise self if you will, into, I forget what it's actually called, uh, into a sergeant. Okay. <laughs> colonel, colonel, actually. What's higher? Who knows military terms? A uh, high... Make uh, yourself a higher. general, dude. Yeah. Colonel. I'm gonna be a colonel. Okay. Um, I count. Make yourself the model of a modern major general. The Dauphine. I swear. <laughs> You um, nerd. Lane, why don't you roll me that? That's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be, I think, a mental roll plus probably technology. Okay, beautiful. Um, I will do intellect tech. So, um, nine. Die. Nice. Let's say two successes per device you want to shut off. While not really knowing what devices they have. This guy's smartwatch is doomed. Okay, so, magic uh, oh, I got my pacemaker. Eight. Oh, oh no. You got eight, eight successes care total. One. Yeah. Okay, so eight successes. I'm assuming you want to turn off his uh, detector. Yeah, definitely the scanner. Okay. Um, seeing that, um, and like even, okay. So, I am making the assumption that like I'm specifically, primarily focusing on like, the scanner that I can see, and like communication devices. Yes. Uh, like I'm not trying to turn off somebody's Apple Watch, you know. Right. Uh, <laughs> Unless um, he can make but, calls. If he paid the extra so he can make yeah. calls, fuck that watch. So you yeah. have... So so effectively, I think what you have done is you've turned off the scanner and you have 
effectively shut off their radios. Sweet. Okay, um, yeah. They may not know their radios are shut off at this point, though, because they haven't tried to use it. But Detector Guy Good. is... But they, they continue up the hill, and as they come up, they come upon you all. And, and the colonel. Sorry. <laughs> So Kaz immediately steps forward, looks back at them, and gives them all what can only be de- like described as like stern mother gaze, like don't fuck with me right now, and then turns back to them, and is just, well, it's about time somebody got up here. I've been radioing for the last thirty minutes. We have intruders. Ma'am. We were aware of the intruders. We, that's why we're up here. There was a breach in the wall. Right. Well, there's a breach here as well. So, do we not have enough people to handle both? That we had to wait this long? I'd like to think highly of myself that I could handle four individuals. However, uh, we're lucky these... that they're, uh, that they're. What's the word? This is this is Ty. Just I don't know. Right. I don't know what you're what, what you're trying um, to convey. <laughs> um, 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 like um, listening. Their that jobs. Oh, there we go. So <laughs> that they're like <laughs> not submissive. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, they're <laughs> cooperating. We're lucky that they're all cooperating. <laughs> <We're... laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Why? Why are you gonna call me out like that in the middle of a stream? <laughs> They're all cooperating. Everyone is just like on their knees in the sand right before you, like, oh no, please don't take us away. Oh no, you can't yeah. on us. Oh no. <laughs> you you can't shame me. I all hope of you these don't soldiers are me. so uncomfortable. Actually, oh our- my god, please. Please don't drag Wait, is that me what into everybody is cell? doing? Is Please that what everybody's that everybody doing? Everybody just I suddenly mean, gets on their knees really and starts horny. being Barbie's... really submissive towards these soldiers. It's, it's like Barbie capturing the Hulk. No, that, that, oh but that is an that is an ex it's an excellent question. No, please. please do the tell four me of you that's what we're doing. Yeah, do the four of you Absolutely. act like you have been Content. Everyone is looking like Loki. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yes. I was just gonna say, I'm like, yeah, yes. I'm fucking Loki with the goddamn collar on. I'm just chilling. Fine, <laughs> yes. Uh, Kaz, you better roll yes, me. Yes, trying to. Whatever you well, want. You better roll me a lie on that. To... Okay, yes, but is Kaz is trying to like find that word? Um, they hear like shuffling behind them, and then turn around and see them all on their knees. Um, and then I will do this roll. Hold on. It's, um, good thing I have honeyed lies. We have oh, been yeah, so thoroughly money. overcome by your power. Yep. I do um, not know what, is what honey- we could have done. Just remind me what honeyed uh, lies does. Uh, well, no, it's, it's, uh, it's just like persuasion, honeyed lies. I think it's just like a, um, I don't know if it does anything. It just says honeyed lies next to persuasion. Oh, okay. Um, so that's your special that's your specialization then. Yeah, I'm good at lying. <laughs> uh and we're and then manipulation. Right so that, exactly. So that's eight dice, one second. Well, I mean, not to be highly inappropriate, but we've gone there anyway. Since you turned around and gave us the stern mother look, I believe it's more of a mommy situation. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, mommy mm-hmm. sorry. Mommy, mommy sorry. sorry. Mommy? Stop! I got six oh, successes. Hurt? What? Six successes. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, because one one exploded. Yeah. Um, nice. Okay, that's Out plenty to. That's plenty to to defeat their limited ability to understand what the hell is going on here. There are some complex emotions that are happening right now, my man. You People are discovering things about themselves. It is. Uh, I mean, is... I've always known, and I'm just happy to be a part of this. Honestly, you know, the soldiers. Okay. The soldiers are. Yeah. They, <laughs> oh, it's, 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 it's okay. unusual. <laughs> There's a number of things that are unusual about this situation, but your 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 manner and it seems that you have subdued these these criminals um, has convinced them, uh, and and they're already kind of 
not inclined to question somebody with, uh, you know, the colonel's bird, I think is what they get. So, so they're like, uh, all right, yes, ma'am. Um, so we'll bring them in. Yes, mommy. Kaz is trying really hard to keep a straight face. (laughs) Just like elbows lane slightly. (laughs) All right, well, gather them. Course, yeah. We'll come not. peacefully. We we will come ple- we'll, we'll come peacefully. There's no need for any sort of gathering. We'll, we'll you've shown us that we were completely and utterly out of our uh, element. Uh, yeah. So as soon as you just you just and thoroughly dominated us with. Yeah. Well, so they're they're I'll, getting out. I they're... will come wherever you want. Like I just. Whatever you need from me. Whenever you... so, Kaz, so they start like Sorry. walking tor- for, towards the them, me like, and they y'all start saying that shit. And Kaz just walks behind one of them, immediately takes out the knife and stabs them in the neck. Yes. <laughs> I thought you were going to do that to us like for a too. second, to be honest. And I was like, I don't blame you, actually. <laughs> what a hell of a way to y'all thing. so we could all do this. So you're I mean, just I'll you really someone. you really wait 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 you really do that. I would like to really do that. Okay. Um. This combat like will not be. Um. Yeah, you can roll for it. That's true. Okay. <laughs> what were you gonna say about this combat though? Um. That it will be sad and ended quickly. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Well, yeah, they got like you know. Uh, I don't even know how to describe that, but they're feeling things right now, and they I just sneak attack scare-roused. one. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, that is four successes. Okay. Um, yeah. So you will put a knife in this person's neck, and they will die immediately. Bro <laughs> will mumble, "You can tell mommy not to do it lethally." Um, so, but, but, but instead of doing a full combat on this, like, just what does everybody else do that Kaz has um, went ahead and murdered somebody? Me. Excuse me. I, I have waited the entire campaign to do this. Okay. Okay. Do it. I am going to double head bonk. Okay. Yes. Add two of the soldiers and crack their heads together. Okay. Is there a fourth soldier? Um. There is. Five total. We've taken out one. Fine. That'll be two. So there'll be two left after if Nemesis is successful. If I were to make you roll for it, you would need four successes. Um, but I kind of feel, I kind of feel like you'll get that. So I love it too. So that's yeah. two more out. And if you need, if you need narrative, uh, like persuasion, um, I mean, I think that the sudden. Colonel stabbing one in the neck might surprise them enough to distract them and give uh, Nemesis the opportunity I mean, to successfully do that. You've totally surprised them, like absolutely, because they were they were they were out of combat mode and, and getting ready. They were getting out like zip ties to tie these prisoners up, and mm-hmm. then zip ties. Oh dear. Mm-hmm. That's what you do. The jacked know. operation. Uh, we're gonna be. We're no, that's be, like a legit We're gonna be thing stuck on this tonight, aren't we? This is gonna be a thing tonight. All right. No, I'm sorry. No, we're not. Wait, uh, why are you making us do we have be any stuck? Momentum? Do we have any what? Momentum? Do we no, still, not we yet. Do? Yeah, you. Bonk. Oh damn! Nice. Good <laughs> shit. Um, uh, Lane, just like after the first dagger goes into that guy's throat, they go from like joking around to, oh my god. And they just kind of like go into a little bit of like a woo, uh, hiding. Yeah, <laughs> we'll kind of shuffle in front of them so they don't have to see, and we'll shoot another one. I can roll if you like, but we'll yeah, shoot go ahead. one of the guys. I, I guess rolls are okay because you might get some momentum if you manage oh, to true. miss. Not necessarily. Yeah, I think they've had time to pull their gun at this point, so I'll use firearms. Um, and what sort of, um, 
Would that be dexterity then? Yeah, it should be dexterity plus firearms. Plus firearms, yep, alright. Okay, we've got success, 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 four successes. Okay, yeah, he will, another one will. Bite where, the do you, where do you plug him? <laughs> you just, uh, just headshot or? Uh, yes, yeah, no, yeah. Lucky sharpshooter right there. Yeah. Headshot. Boom, uh, headshot. I think Oops, Kate. What an accident. So yeah, your your gun goes off. My hand drop another slipped. One. There is one more up. Uh, Jericho will um, uh, uh, let's see. I can't do that. So I guess they will just uh, imbue <laughs> some legend for uh, a little bit of fire and um, uh, yeah, they're very caught in the moment and not really exactly sure what's going on. But they're just gonna throw fire at someone. Um, <clears throat> Jericho and, uses uh, uh, kill. Yeah. It is super effective. Absolutely. They're just gonna, like, you know, do a huge blast of fire out of, like, kind of reaction and panic. <clears throat> okay. Uh, 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 what is that? I'm not sure what I should use. Maybe dexterity? <laughs> if, you're, if you're throwing it, dexterity, yes. Cool. Yeah, dexterity and uh, uh, I'm I have some athletics. Why not a little bit of that? That would be the throwing a fireball roll. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Make sure you're okay. aiming. Oh, two more. All right, that is six successes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you um, you throw a fireball. Um, but it is it is enough fire that um, whoa, he's, he's he's incinerated. Um, and they are down. That a boy! Look at you go. Oh. Um. Well, as it yeah. worked out, you had five individuals. Did I just but... kill someone? No, he's sleeping. No, you you didn't so much kill him as you just removed him from existence. <laughs> You incinerate oh, that's what the Tedley. fire does. You know, it actually incinerates their soul from reality. You know, fire. Actually, I actually smelling smelling the uh, the burning body actually just reminds Lane of home, and so that's like more comforting to them in this moment. I forgot. I forgot you grew <laughs> up like with a mortician, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm a fucking mortician, man. Okay. <laughs> that's so, what I do. <laughs> so. I will say right, that so now we have uniforms. you have four uniforms. Yeah. Um, no, oh god, you burnt one of them. Yeah. Well, it's Case. okay. There were five of them, and I don't need one. Right. Perfect. So you, uh, you will have, you have four uniforms. Um, two. Of one them might are be a little good. bloody around the neck, though. Yeah, two of them might have so a little blood on them. From the headshot. No, and the, the headshot one. one. Like a little flat. They're dark enough. They're not gonna notice. It's fine. You can just stay in the back of the Jeep. Could we find the drive in? I'll wear I'll wear that one. That one's my doing. Um it's only fair. So you, Plus, you're putting like, them still on. Kind of faded. You're yeah. putting on the uniforms. The fits are a little funny. Sure, that'll go well. The fits are a little funny, especially on Nemesis. It's probably looks like a you know, the uniform of this guy probably looks like a belly shirt at this point, but you know. Can't you wear, like, just this normal shirt underneath it? Yeah. Brown chicken. <laughs> I mean, so, we're fine with it, play but... Play some sensual music on background. Okay, so you you put on the uniforms. Yeah. Now what? Uh, let's... Get in the Jeep. I feel like we're actually short one uniform because I burned someone to a crisp. No, you're, you're no, good No, 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 I don't need Kaz. one. Kaz oh, yes, there were five of them. Dope. Because my my clothes change at will. Um, I I can kind of fade yeah, away. Too, so if either of the people who can fade away can wear the one that's a little bloody. You and me, we got the bloody ones. Kaz mm -hmm. has got. Nobody the will notice you, thing. and you'll fade away. I think um, also that I should work. probably drive because I am a colonel currently. Right? Yeah. And sure. How about? Might be well, like less no, suspicious. No, you would Actually, have no. a driver. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. You I don't should know be shotgun. Let Indy. the shrimpy one drive. You be shotgun in the non-literal sense, in the, in the car sense. Uh, Lane, right, yeah, don't on one of the clean uniforms. Yep. Nemesis, best of luck. Uh, well, if it's a jeep, you know, like, you'll be in the back, so... You well, won't pay too much attention. I almost just referenced something that would have sounded terrible, but would have been, like, mildly appropriate. So, you know, um, I think it's... Sorry, this is a slight sidetrack, but you know in Indiana Jones, there's the one, like, the one Nazi dude, uh, who's, like, the really big dude who's just, like, shirtless. Uh, I was thinking about that, but in the context that, uh, Nemesis is definitely not a Nazi. But I was just thinking about, like, oh, this, but like, could military... Be the military brick shit house who's shirtless, you know? Because, like, it makes sense. That, yeah, that well, you know, actually, it is kind of relevant because that does make sense because if, if... These people are assholes, so... You're on fatigue duty and you actually are in the desert. So... There you go. Makes sense. You don't need to so. wear a shirt. Whatever you do, you know. So we're going down to the Jeep. Going down. Yes. <clears throat> And get in, losers. We're going so, killing. Beep, beep. Who's got the keys to the cheap room? Yep, exactly. Lane, who just turned into a ghost. I'm driving. You opened a window. <laughs> <laughs> <There you go. laughs> yeah, whenever I use my powers, I just, I'm going ghost. <laughs> and then I, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, castle. Mm -hmm. So you're going down to the Jeep. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm driving. Getting, I'm presuming getting one in the of gym. them had the keys in their pocket, so we found that when we... Yeah, we looted the bodies. We yeah. literally you know. undressed them completely and left their naked corpses to rot in the desert. Skyrim style! You guys cannot tell me that you don't play video games! Yeah. No, no this I, is... I, even even I video. know what you're talking about there. No, but mm. I suppose if we speared them through the chest and poured honey on them, it would be like the ancient Egyptians. So shall we That's... go? A very random point. No, but... tomb robbers, anyway. I've done a lot of research for books. Shall we go? I don't think that's yeah. what I tell you particularly Ta want to know. Cass will turn to Lane and just... Please, for the love of God. Well, there are multiple, Don't actually. say, please, for the love of gods. Don't say too much. <laughs> I'm going to pretend that this is no. You know what? That's that's a constructive comment, and they're gonna turn on the the jeep and start uh, trying to drive, and just say, "I'm just I." You have a tendency <laughs> to talk. I am not saying it is a criticism or a compliment. However, I would like you to realize how dire this mission is, and if you do not want us to kill much more it's probably just smart although luckily we've got you in the lower ranks uniform so if you ramble a little bit I don't think it'd be out of place entirely shall we? Yeah. I think we're already, Lane's already like, challenged yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lane's driving and they're just like yeah the nerds the yeah <laughs> they're just kind of like grumbling to themselves and they're just like, this always happens to me. This is why I work alone! <laughs> just, come up with, oh. just come up with a good backstory for your, uh, your initiate. So, um, where are you taking the jeep? My, uh, I assume that there's like a, yeah, let's go to the base. I assume that there's probably like a sort of garage-ish looking situation. Well, there's, there's, there's a gate with a guardhouse that's the entrance to the base that has a closed mm -hmm. fence. So, we're in Nevada, oh, wait, right? Hold up. You are. I think that Kaz had... Are we in Area 51? <laughs> probably We're not. in Vegas. Area 51 is not... Um, well, if we're a little outside of Vegas, but uh, Area 51, I think, is still a little bit away. Like an hour place. away? Yeah, something like that. It's, it's very Area 51 vibe, but it's not probably the Area 51. 
this is a divine area 51 not a uh alien area 666 or 777 so so as we approach the the gatepost thing uh Cass will just mention once we're in I think it's important to note that they mentioned there were other intruders at the wall do we think we need to avoid that or should we go there I'm sure that wasn't meant to be us that might have been us because I bet that once we like bonked against the wall they probably noticed it I thought we weren't against the wall we were up high could we have some GM clarification yeah yes um, I will say that when they say the wall, they may not be talking about a literal wall. Because yeah, we okay. felt that like, like a because that resistance. Security, because if you recall to, in, to go back, like when you were down in the sticks, you hit a wall. Right. And so what you, oh. what you might presume is that when you came out of the sticks and you were up on that hill, basically you hit whatever barrier they have around this base. We hit their oh, barrier. okay, okay. We okay, are the cool. ones that they detected, I'm pretty sure. That was not super clear to me. Okay. Never mind, cool. I retract Kaz's yeah. statement. No, that's cool. That's why we I figured I'd just cut that out by asking for GM clarification before we wax poetic. Yeah, the wall. The, the term wall is a term that they use. The actual base is just surrounded by like a barbed wire fence. Ten four. Yeah, but you mentioned five. that there's like like a door, uh, whatever. You yes, know. towards towards the so back of the base, there's a there's like a a mountain side with a mm-hmm. door on it. Yeah, I just didn't know if that was. The, I didn't. Barrier would have been, I think, more. Uh, I think my brain would have recognized that more. Yeah. I was thinking a literal wall. <laughs> well, these no, these, are anyway. also, these are also idiot henchmen, so they <laughs> talk the way the they're metaphysical there. wall. The metaphysical wall. All right, um, we're driving up to the thing. To the gate. Yeah, let's go. And you, you had just you had just said something um, to, about the. Uh, I think I think probably we could adjust what you said is that you know you said you wanted to mention other how was it you said you wanted to mention other intruders at the wall no i was i wasn't talking to the people at the gate i was talking to the party they were um, like reminding and, us okay, okay like where should we go what's the game plan as we approach so that was the yeah they would know who checked out so presumably as they would have just left the gate so i don't know how much we can try and talking is always better but um lane if you can jam communications so that they can't get past the gate because that's gonna be the first thing they do as soon as they get suspicious um kaz if you don't mind you seem to be probably better than me um if not as good as me at talking your way through situations so if you want to give that one a go i can assist if um if i find a way i can help but if it doesn't work we're probably gonna have to merge these people too and hope for the best i uh, <clears throat> i will say uh I'm pretty sure that if, uh, you might not like it, and so I apologize if this is terrible, they say, like, as they're driving, but, uh, if you, if you promise me something, it can, uh, it can make you better at doing the thing. I, I, it's hard to understand. I did it with Nemesis. I'm able to uh protection and so I bet that I could bind you to a promise of like protecting us and that would help you better protect us. Or I'm lie, not you know? going to be under anyone's gish. 
I'm not. I'm, no, I'm not. I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying it's no. So you you can act of your own free will, and like I wouldn't do that to you, Ra. I'm just Kaz. You know, if you're gonna be the one who's talking, if you swear to me or make an oath that you will do your best to uh, bluff our way inside. That's something that, you know, your oath can bolster you. Gaming your oath. That's impressive. Yeah, you just... I know it sounds weird, I don't fully understand it yet, but I'm... Well, it's some god shit uh, that good old dad, I guess, gave to me, so... um, You know... The technicality to me that you're positively fey, really. I mean, I feel like if you swear to me that you're gonna do something, uh, you'll you'll be better at doing it. And if you don't act towards it, then bad things happen, which is a side effect. But you wouldn't do that, so uh, there's no downside, really. What do you think? I, lo- I don't know if you can hear me. I lost sound completely, and I think it might have oh, no. been because my mom- Oh, you're back! Okay, I think it was because yes. my mom was calling me, and my, my phone, like, chimed into my headphones. Oh, um, no. Anyway, um... Essentially, uh, I can uh, use Bound by Oath to uh, make you swear an oath to me, and whenever you act towards for. that goal, you will- Oh, I'm just saying- if you want to uh, swear that you will try to, uh, or you will like do all in your power to get us inside safely, you know, or just get us inside, uh, then is that you'll the be better at doing it. It's just that if you act against that, is it's going to be a problem. And that's the oath you want. Yes. I just know that it's not exactly the most comfortable thing to be sworn to somebody it's not which is why i declined before however if that's the oath and that's all you ask of me in this point of time yeah i i just want to make sure that you'll do all in your power to get us in there safely do you think do you think that i'm not trying to Oh, I'm just saying that if you swear to me that you're gonna do it, it'll help. I'm just saying. I do think that Lane's got some sort of supernatural power to assist if you bound an oath. I wouldn't do it, but it will give you some sort of boon, I think, is what we're getting at. Yeah, it'll just be I'm aware, I'm aware, I'm understanding. The problem is I don't trust people. I don't give my loyalty to people very easily. And you don't so, have to, and it, it doesn't why. last forever. And once once the thing's done, you're good. They put their hand we... out. Do we shake on it? We can do whatever we want to seal it. Mm. You're, t- you're talking too much. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what, is, uh, what is the oath? Lane will... <clears throat> uh, I would like to bind... Uh, has to an oath of um, getting us into this military base uh, as easily and safely as possible. Okay. Doing all in their ability to get us inside easily and safely. Okay. So what what that will do, do is it. it will give them an enhancement yeah. in their roles. Um, you get a plus one enhancement to doing things to getting us inside. Now, since you clarified those safely and all of that, if Kaz decides to get stabby, that produces a complication. Yeah. Why? That why? That's I'm getting people in safely. Well I'm doing all well, that I can to get people in safely. No no no. Yeah, no, I no, said no. to get us in safely, okay, to okay. be fair. Okay. I'm. I will fight this, Ian. That's why I asked. <laughs> uh, yes. That's why. No. Listen. I'm sorry. You cannot. We're getting let me on this Loki shit. as my patron, as my father, and not expect me to silver tongue my way into this. Okay. Because that's why I asked. 
for clarification I mean, to be of fair, what even, your oath is. I think you were <laughs> not he- able to hear, but even I think uh, Ro said something when um, Lane kept clarifying. It's just saying, well, that's positively Faye. <laughs> yeah. So oh, that's... I heard something about Faye, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so that's... Um... Okay. Fair, Trixie. If, yeah. if, if all Kaz is is binding themselves to get the five of us in safely by any means. I said to get us in easily and safely. And you said do all I can. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do all you can to get us in easily and safely. So yes. and if all I, I can do to get us in wizard. safely. Yes, exactly. Murdering if, all, people. if that if that yep. yeah. That is that is fair. You didn't specify I couldn't murder people. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I figured Kaz wouldn't agree to that, so... <laughs> so, at this point, you've pulled up... He told up, me not to kill. You've pulled up to the gate. Wait, so did we do the thing? I mean, you, you oh, sworn... Oh. You sworn the oath, I didn't know, like, that seemed to be... Does anybody want to do anything else before you pull up to the gate? Oh, no, I just didn't know if that had, like, sealed it. No, that is sealed, uh, sealed yeah. The, the oath. Yeah, Lane cool. will just, uh, reach out a hand, and, uh... You'll actually, they'll reach out their left hand, the hand that has the, uh, the arm of Osiris attached, and, uh, will shake, uh, Kaz's hand, and for the sake of flavor, if this is okay, Ian, uh, you'll just feel, like, a sort of, like, cold chain, like, roll up, like, up your arm before the feeling kind of goes away, um, Mm. All right. So, as you approach the gate, the guard leaves the guardhouse and starts to approach the jeep. Um, as he approaches, he sees that that colonel's bird, that rank insignia, and salutes. At ease, soldier. Colonel, he's looking for your your name. Uh, I. Phillips. Phillips, sir. Phillips, sure. Yeah, so that's <laughs> what, Whatever, what yeah. your 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 name badge would say. Yeah. Uh, Colonel Phillips. Uh, where, where did you come from? Apologies, ma'am. It's my job. Of course, I'm not questioning your protection of this area. I mean, it is your job. We passed another jeep. We heard that there were intruders. They went to scope out that situation. And I'm just checking the situation here. See if anything's running. Not quite as operational as it should. Where's the other team? They haven't checked in. They passed us. I'm sure they're still checking out the situation. It was at the wall, correct? Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Ma'am, didn't you give them orders to maintain radio silence so they could verify something with their own eyes? Exactly. So I'm assuming that that is what they're doing. And I will look at the soldier at the gate, like their name tag. You know, and just say their, like, yeah. look at it, and then eye them up and down, and like say their name. Yeah, this is look like, at also David. This is like <laughs> David. David. You again? <laughs> no, it's a. It just Fuck says like you. he's a corporal, and it says his name is Michaels. Uh, I will also, as a note, Ian, um, because in my brain it was known, but I feel like I have to specify. I am making sure that I am maintaining that like uh dead zone for electronics as much as possible okay for their electronics i should say yeah so their radios are still out um sweet okay i'll uh add that jericho is purposefully silent because they have no idea how to interact with military figures um but they are uh a horribly stressful situation away from just igniting everything. So let's see what happens. 
Um, so they might be very quiet, but don't worry. They're just very on edge. Uh, uh, Ro had asked Lane to try to block the communication from the guard um, tower just in case he got antsy. Um, is that something that's possible for Ro to do? To like, ask, ask me to do it? Um, uh, when they were on the way in, Ro said, Lane, like, block that. Um, Kaz, I think you're better than me, so you talk. Also, you're in a corporal uniform, that kind of thing. So, uh, but basically the idea that the backup plan, violence isn't the first choice, but it might have to be the second choice, because if they get antsy, they're going to try to radio someone. Oh yeah, I already made sure that, like, their communications are dampened. Okay, So they cool. can't... Yeah. Like, Just making sure that was... Guard switch, yeah. Because I, I didn't know if we meant specifically just the dead guy's radios are still dampened or what. Oh, so no, I just wanted no. to clarify that. Cool, awesome, thank you. Okay, so this this guard is kind of looking around. Uh, Colonel, what are your orders? For you, keep doing what you're doing. Doing great. For us, it's to get in and make sure that Everything is running smoothly. Forgive me if I don't have extreme trust in lower command. Okay. Um, well, I, I I'll have uh, I have Major Winners meet you at the officers' station. You know what? Between me and you, winners is. I think it'd be nice if I give them a little surprise, don't you think? No, I do not. I mean, not. if you let them. But I follow orders. You do, um, and you do it so well. I'm going if to. If you just announce now. my thank you. And so he. He's a little confused, but this is a corporal talking to a colonel, so he's going to. Cat do Cass what he's sees the confusion and and is just. Listen. Like I said, you're doing great, and I appreciate you doing great. Here's the thing. What it, what's their rank again? Corporal. Uh, corporal. Here's the thing, corporal. When you just announce the presence of someone of my rank, everybody just gets into tip-top shape. And I would really much like to catch people not... Get it? Bro will kind of lean over and be like, it's not a surprise inspection if they're expecting it, Corporal, and like wink at them. Completely <laughs> Have you ever seen... Have you ever seen Undercover Boss? <laughs> that, that, that makes sense. And then Lane will like nervously look over at Kaz and just... Mum's the word then. Uh, letting you in now. Thank you and congrats, Corporal. You survived your first surprise. Um, this is me, not Kaz, trying to think. Uh, I don't know military terms. Like inspection, inspection, inspection. Um, yeah. Surprise inspection. Yes, ma'am. Carry on. And he kind of like walks back. You can kind of hear him over here mutter this being weird. And he, but he, he unlocks the gate. It opens automatically, and the gate is now open. I'll Perfect. drive forward. Where would you like to drive the vehicle? Uh, <laughs> um, so is this in, okay, so when we go through, is it all, like, external, or are we driving, like, into a, no, uh, it, a building? It is all external. There is, okay, cool. there is what looks to be an area off to your left where like drones could be launched and off to your right are what appear to be barracks and further up off to the right looks to be a vehicle hangar um, okay directly forward 
a little further would be something that looks like it might be like the officer's quarters and then beyond that you can see that door okay um is there any sort of like guard situation that i can see near that door or is it sort of like on its on the the door no actually there's nobody behind the door um, I'm going to drive us closest. So the closest building is like the officer's quarters? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to drive us. The... Well, I mean, I if say, you're a corporal. Probably the vehicle hangar. Well, if you're a corporal, I should drop you off back at the officer's quarters because that's where you should be staying, corporal. And it's Drop also closer to the the door, you know. Oh, is it? I mean, yeah, the officers' uh, quarters are closer to where the door is. Oh, okay. you I, I are an important. That. You're an important visitor, which means that you should have your quarters in the, uh, the officers' quarters. Military uh, brat coming in handy, baby. <laughs> What, real quick, out of uh, character, what was it? Was it was what what winners? Just what was their rank? Major. Major. Okay. You actually um, outrank him. Mm-hmm. So you're not a corporal. Know, you're a colonel. Major yeah. is underneath yeah. colonel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> that sergeant, um, sergeant major, major. Yeah, so corporal was who we were talking to at the gate. Colonel mm-hmm. is you, sorry. Corporal is just one step <laughs> up from private. private. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Private Corporal Hello. Sergeant Sergeant Major. Well it depends on the military is or the yeah. you know, branch of military as well. And this yeah, isn't this, even is this the army real military. Oh, okay. This is fictional military. Yeah, this is um, fictional military, military so. in a world where gods actually exist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, hold on. So Okay. Closest building is officers' In character, quarters. To the door. Yeah, to the door. Okay, so... In character. Let's stop at the officers' quarters. Don't bother returning the vehicle. I'll go in and mention to winners that I have a team requested that was requested to go inside and you guys go inside the door and I will meet you there if anybody stops and asks those direct those are direct orders from major winners that makes sense okay. do you want any backup I can come with you We need somebody good that could smoothly talk just in case. Talk their way out of the situation. Oh. oh with, no. with the door. All right. I'll stay. Okay, so, so what I'm... And I'm... do you want Nemesis? Yeah, why not? Come with me. Yeah, okay. So to be clear, you're pulling up to the officer's quarters, getting out of the jeep, and going inside. Uh, Kaz and Nemesis are gonna, yeah, just make yeah. sure that Winters knows there is a team going, you know, that was requested to go inside. And then the other, the rest of the party will make their way to the door and inside, and if they are stopped, they are to mention that it is direct orders from Major Winters because everybody knows Major Winters and not my character, my 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 corporal. Okay. Um. Okay, so you you roll up, you'll park the jeep, you'll walk, presumably very very confidently up the steps as an officer would, go inside. Um, and there is uh, inside. There's there's a little bit of barracks, but also 
there's not a lot of looks like there's not a lot of officers here but there's a little bit of barracks but then there's the major winner's office and you can see him behind there's like a door and glass just like an office would and you can see him behind the window like writing some stuff some paperwork okay um is there there's there is there anything like higher than um than a corporal i don't know yeah there's lots of things higher than a corporal um, okay uh, what may uh, what if this is like information that you can give like plot wise like what would make sense to mention like that like who would send me like i don't i don't i just don't know military like you know but if we're outsourced you know what actually it's classified information and questioning is not good so that's what i'm gonna go with and i have good enough manipulation the three of us will continue on to the door park around the back of a um of like a building so that there's not just a miscellaneous car and proceed into the doorway but we'll switch back over to that i just want to let you know what was going on simultaneously okay so so yeah i would say the answer to your question yeah you don't really know a whole lot about this military because it's not really the military it's sort of right an organization masquerading as a military with military people in it so um your approach has some wisdom to it Mm-hmm. cool so All like right. yeah c- coming in go. and saying like i'm from the president of the united states for instance would probably not work in this situation yeah no <laughs> that's why I, I was like thinking too much into it and then i realized that i could just say it's classified information and questioning corporal could get you um court martialed or something you know like whatever yeah question a colonel uh, sorry yes colonel okay so it's do you so new so many you, terms do you go into his office? No. Colonel. Yes. Colonel. Yeah. Colonel. Yes, I go um, into the, we go into the office. Um, well, he's looking at the paperwork and then he looks up and of course stands up and salutes you immediately like Colonel Phillips. What what do I owe the honor? Major as much as I would like to tell you, it is unfortunately classified information, though I did feel it necessary to let you know that I was here. We're touring the facility, and I do, myself and my team, do have to go beyond the door, and I did not want that to be a surprise to you. You're going into the facility? Yes. Alright. Um... Why don't you roll me a lie on that? Yes, sir. Four. Four? Okay. Four is tonight. Yeah. Um, he seems to believe you. Uh, all right, Colonel, I will put your authorization through with, uh, with the checkpoint inside. Uh, have you been down there before? I haven't. This is my first time. Uh, it's... (laughs) Permission to speak freely. Go ahead. It is really creepy in there they've got some stuff going on there that i don't know i don't want to talk about it but speaking freely myself being a higher rank i do have i am privy to certain information so the creepiness doesn't exactly surprise me nor does i guess once you mention that the request uh, the nature of the request of why I'm here. Um, but I appreciate the sort of boarding. He looks like he's about Though, to... T- 
he looks like he's about to tell you something, but then he kind of holds his tongue in, 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 in deference of rank. If this is not too forward, Major, uh, where I, I suppose I come from is a little bit, I wouldn't say lax. However, I do not only command respect of my subordinates, but I also give respect, and I would like to embody that here as well. So please, if, if you feel like you need to tell me something or that you want to, go ahead. Ah. Uh, well, I, I don't know. Like, just be careful what you touch in there. I mean, there's those things that just scream constantly, and I've heard they have a leprechaun down there, and I don't even know if I believe that, but If you're lucky, I might I might try to confirm that for you, and they'll 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 just wink at them at him. Thank you. Standard pr protocol is not to engage leprechauns. Of course not. I would never. I mean, given the lore, I don't think I would necessarily <laughs> want to. <laughs> yes. I am desperate for next season. We've got to have a spinoff called the Leprechaun Protocol. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just playing leprechauns, oh, he, raising hell in a military he, facility. He said, Continue. he said that, he said that with absolute one hundred percent seriousness too. Like, oh yeah, no, one hundred percent. Like he um, told, I'm, like, I'm like he just told you, like he just told you, you know, make sure you wear standard safety equipment when you go around the nuclear reactor. He told you, do not. It's standard protocol is not to engage with leprechauns. Yeah, there's a story behind that. And if we had, you know, if we weren't here on a specific mission, I would inquire further. <laughs> um, so um, they. Well, mm -hmm. you have, I'll get you the, I'll get you the proper clearance and uh, carry on. Thank you very much. And um, as you, uh, sorry, because I am new here, actually, one, one more request. Uh, they didn't give me blueprints to the facility. However, they did ask that I check several of the uh, specific areas and can't exactly, I don't want to wander in on leprechauns. Mm -hmm. So I can't exactly do that if I don't know the area. If you could provide me with those, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I cannot. I've not been given those. Oh. You know, that makes so much sense about the leprechauns, then. Standard navigation within the facility is facilitated by the digital systems in there. Well, they are more on top of it than I expected. I can't say that I'm not impressed. Well, once again, thank you, Major, and um, you may return to your duties. And he will salute you and resume his paperwork. Um, also, while kind of going to his radio and radioing down to somebody to tell them about your clearance before we leave uh and as we're talking and i will roll if you would like me to um could i like look down and see if there's anything of import that he is working on like his paperwork yeah so i want. assume i'm like standing at his desk yeah if you want you could do that if if you don't think that I will gain anything from it, then I don't have. To. Um. Yeah. Narratively, I don't think there's much to gain for for it. So. Okay. It looks like standard to. paperwork. Cool. Then we shall take our leave and join the others. So you join the others. Are you all like in front of the door? Depends on how long it takes us, but that doesn't sound like it was a very long conversation. So we probably had just about enough time to park the uh, jeep behind a uh, behind a building and walk to the door. To be honest, yeah, I think Lane would just have like parked the jeep for a while and is just sitting there, like trying to figure out if uh, the radio in the jeep will get. Um, like normal radio stations or if it's just like their you know wait lane's in the jeep y'all didn't go to the door that was the plan oh i'm sorry sorry no then no, i went to I the door said. i apologize 
<laughs> so it would be very funny if Lane was just hanging out in the Jeep and I'm like, we arrive at the door and Jay we're just like, Wait, where's Lane? <laughs> in the Jeep. I'm sorry. I was thinking about like before Lane. you had a... Oh, <laughs> my brain was in a completely different place. I apologize. Lane was no, told yeah. to not <laughs> talk and then got confused and decided and it was best move. to not ask clarifying questions because they might get in trouble. Lane was like, I'll just sit here. Like, Where are you guys? Never mind. Never mind. Nope. No. Okay. Um, I don't want to get in yeah, trouble yeah. with mommy cats. <laughs> so let's um, let's let's proceed to the door. Yes. Just door time. That's... Um. And so as you approach the door, it is a it's a fairly large door. It looks like it could. Um, maybe like it's 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 several humans tall. Like it's uh, about ten foot tall. Um, it is emblazoned with that logo, and as you approach it, there is just sort of an ominous clicking noise of what sounds like locks being released, and the door opens in front of you to a hallway that. It's a fairly standard hallway. It's a long corridor with uh, fluorescent lights. Vaguely smells of kind of like this chemically clean smell. And you can see at the end of the hallway, there is sort of a plexiglass window with another guard station. Cool. Sorry, uh, I was heckling people in the chat. Um. <laughs> Then that was inside the door, right? Yes. Uh, okay. Kaz will stay behind you then if you, you know, you're the corporal mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And, and I mean, I assume that like winners radioed them inside the door. So like they won't stop us or anything. They'll just, you know, we'll give a nod and continue on. Yeah. And I am continuing to whenever we're like in areas where there are people, I'm just like silencing their cell phones. You know. <laughs> okay. There's, there's uh, no cell Caswell? phones. <laughs> I am a movie theater attendant. I'm just like, make sure you fucking silence these videos. <laughs> no, but I'm turning off communications and uh, cameras as well, if I can. Um, Kaz will, will like motion um, Lane forward um, to stand beside them. Uh, because yes, mommy. I mean, ma'am. Just... <laughs> And just like leaning close to it, like you know, in case anybody is like nearby to listen, just your arm is going to lead the way, correct? Yes. It's, <laughs> you don't. It's, it's, it's this away. Yeah, I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> um. It's a oh, I'm like Prince Ashitaka. I'm just like oh, okay. It's so this the, way. The um the gentleman <laughs> the gentleman at the uh, the plexiglass kind of just salutes you and he um he unlocks the door which opens the, the second set of doors, which again is also this is a more a smaller set of doors and it's about human sized again this time. And with again the logo emblazoned on it and um he he looks at you, he says, Yep. Yeah, I have your clearance, Colonel. Uh, well, he does one of those things where he has to push the button to talk to you. Um, I have mm -hmm. your clearance, Colonel. Uh, standard standard issue scans when you go in. Should only take a moment. Um, Kaz just nods. Thank you, soldier. And then they like look at uh, Lane about like the scanners yeah i will uh attempt to suppress um and i don't know so there's a wireless the wireless interface thing doesn't just say that i can like suppress it it's that i can control it more or less so i would like to uh not necessarily for the sake of making sure that we're not like suspicious because it just malfunctioned suddenly uh I'd love to Here's make it appear that we are like normal. 
All right. Humans, if possible. So here's how we're going to do this. Is, is you're going to make a hack roll. You're going to need three successes to get into the system on its, on its own. And then every two successes after that, you can control one particular security system. Okay. Um, and there's a lot of different things and, and we can talk about them once you get into the system. We can talk about what you can sense your successes on. Right now, there is, you're kind of being hurt, not herded because no one's behind you, but you're going into a room that looks like it's a standard series of kind of biological scanners and what on the ceiling looks like might be one of those divinity scanners. Okay. So that's a heads up on that. So cool. if you want any insistence on that role, you can probably get a, at least a plus three enhancement if people help you with their yeah. role. Yeah. I can help however much I can. Um, but it, if, if it takes more I think biological scans. I, we like we will probably be fine with biological scans because that's just human, like yeah. you know, biology. So like it's the divinity scanner that we need to worry about. So you don't have to put any effort into anything else other than the divinity scanner. Yeah, more or less. Role wise. Um. So Kaz, you're gonna make a so... role based on how you're assisting. Yeah. Uh, and the number of successes up to three is going to be the amount of enhancement you provide to Lane's roll. Okay. Um, I have technology security systems. Does does that lend? Mm hmm. Absolutely. Help it would. Here. Okay. Cool. Um, and then I'll do my intellect uh, tech stuff. So sorry. That is only one success. Okay, Thanks. but it's still a plus one enhancement. So kind of presumably you're like next to Lane with the phone, like no, that one. Mm -hmm. you know, like, kind of how you did before. <laughs> yeah, that's the, just. Yeah, yeah, you're not doing it. You're not doing it right. You're you're backseat hacking. That's 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 just a thermal. <laughs> that's just a thermal scanner. We don't care about the thermal scanner. Uh, so seven successes total if we're counting the one from uh, Cas. Okay, so you so you have a total of. Of eight. Oh, nice. Six. Right. So, oh, so no, no, no. I, I got six successes, and then if I'm getting one success from Kaz, then seven altogether. Oh, seven. Okay. Yeah. So, you have three successes, which gets you into the system. Does, sorry, point of order. Doesn't Kaz have an enhancement, though? Oh, oh from the actually. Oath. So, then I'm getting out so, in a total, okay. wouldn't it? Yes, so that'll bring it up to eight. Aha! Uh -huh. So eight, yeah. Okay. So this Yay. is Kaz specifically, you're right, because this is Kaz specifically assisting Lane. That does provide an sense, and thank you for reminding me of that. Um, so you no do problem have, just <laughs> min-maxing in the back seat here. <laughs> you do have eight successes. Um, so three of those are going to be spent on getting into the system. Now... Okay. Some other things that you can access. I will let you turn off the divinity scanners. You just turn them off for one success. If you want to control them, I'll, it would cost you two. Okay. Some um, other things, but just to just to get yeah. you get you thought about. Some other things that come up are the uh, facility information. Um, a a two success buy that I will just call buying you time, oh. which you can interpret how you want. I'm going to keep that nebulous. Um, two successes would also get you access to the base's virtual assistant. Okay, and we have eight. You have eight to spend. Well, you have, you totally, you have five to spend because three got you into the system. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So I would like to spend two to control the divinity thing. Okay. Uh, to show fine. us as being normal rather okay. than just shutting it down. 
Mm-hmm. That leaves um, you with three. I would like to. I. I think getting the system information would be better than the system assistant. Okay. IMO, which is also Can't two, trust. right? Okay. Can't yes. trust AI. So you're down to one success. Um, so one success would buy you. You could like, if you wanted to shut down security cameras, you could do that. I I think. Like you can control uh, them. Yeah, if I could. Oh, man. Can I use it for, like, comm stuff instead? Do you want to just shut down the comms? Yeah. I'm going to say one success is turning them on and off. So, okay. Okay, cool. Communications yeah. are Just down. turning off the comms. Sweet. Um, sick. Yeah, that is okay. what I will do. So, you, uh, stepping into the room, you're doing all that, and, um... A green light appears next to the divinity scanner. Um, the biological scans go through. And then uh, some kind of like smoke pours into the room. But you don't suspect that it's like, it's not gas or anything. It's probably just standard. Uh, you're being cleaned. And what, what is the like disinfectant thing? Yeah. It's just a, it's just feels like a standard sort of disinfectant. Yeah. Interesting. And then, um, from there you enter the, the second set of doors. This is like an airlock opens and you come into a room. This is a very long room with a, what appears to be a large catwalk. The catwalk is surrounded on all sides by what appears to be plexiglass over another large room. Um, And you can see through the plexiglass if you look down what looks to be a lot of people hooked up to like various kinds of machines. Some of them look like pods that people are in. Some of them look like they're IVs. Um, Some of them look like they're like, they're maybe using like a a gas on people but they look like just people hooked up to all these different views and there's like maybe right now about 50 of those down there at the bottom um if you and then at the end of the hallway across the catwalk is another door what the hell is going on here these are people like us that's what I was afraid of. Let's get to the door. Um, I'm gonna look at my arm and try and vibe check and see if it's pulling in a specific direction. Okay. Um, yeah, it's towards that door. And I will Sick. say that if you're starting to walk across the catwalk, um... You do notice kind of at the sides of the room below you where you couldn't um, see quite from one end of the room. You can see some lab technicians looking at different um, pads on the edges of the room or computers and stuff like they're monitoring something. And as you get towards the door, there are steps that lead down to that room. Um, So there's this door and then there's like a series of steps. You couldn't quite see it from the other side, but it's it's kind of in the wall and you could you could go down to that room if you wanted to. But the arm is telling you to move forward. That's where you okay. want to go if you're going after Osiris. I would like to, if there are cameras that I can see or sense, I would like to try to get them so they're not pointing towards the door. Um, I don't want to fully turn them off, but I'd like to see if I can make them kind of like swivel away well you didn't you you can't i can Uh, or i can't i cannot because that's not one of the systems was that one of the systems you did i thought you did the communication no but i i did do like communication and stuff like that but i just assumed that like 
once we passed through the divinity sensor, like, I'm not really worried about that anymore. Um, because, like, I only okay. wanted it to be affected while we were going through it so that we could pass through it undetected. Um, okay. More than anything else. Okay. So, and I can make another roll for it if you'll allow me. But, um, um, no, no, that's not that interesting, I think. So, we can say that you can turn the cameras away. Um, and I will say, I will remind you that you do have access to the virtual assistant. Oh, I I didn't choose the virtual assistant. I chose the, uh, just like the system information or something like that. The, the other one. Oh, okay. Because we, I decided that the virtual assistant would probably not be trustworthy. Okay. Necessarily. Okay. Um... But yeah, I chose the system information so that ideally, if there are any passwords or anything that we need to uh, use... There is uh, not... There is not... Doesn't appear to be many passwords in this place. Okay. But... Um... Kaz... Like, so they go through the door. Let's get through the door. They go through the door. Um, Kaz turns to Lane and it's just, did you do anything with the cameras? Yes. Throughout the facility, our camera is going to be monitoring us. Well, I can... Moving forward, I can turn them so they're not focusing on us. They might already know we're here. I mean, they're 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 in everything. Remember, they are internet incarnate. We need to get in and out fast. Do what you can with the cameras, but I think we should prepare for them already knowing. For sure. I mean. I'm just trying to minimize the the grunts, if you will, knowing that we're here. The humans watching the cameras. Avoid dealing with them, you know? Probably nothing compared to whatever power they've sucked out of these people. But let's get Osiris, and hopefully he can help us further. Yeah, I just want to get him and get out. Where where is the arm telling us to go? <laughs> so you're you're going. You said you went through the door at the end already, or yes. Okay, so you crossed the catwalk and gone into the other door. Yes. Okay. So if you go through that door, it's it's a little strange because you go through the door. And what you see is no hallway to your right, but a descending hallway that moves out of view as you come, as you look to your left, which appears to sort of spiral. But also it's descending. Okay. Osiris time. Osiris time. Let's fucking get... I gotta go find my dad. Okay. I'm just like I, I'm going Shit, freaks, yeah. baby. I'm trying Nobody to. Nobody hit on him. Osiris because it's Lane's dad. Yeah, come on. I know that no. we're all like mythology, but that's a little too much. Let's go. He's also. I was CJ, like... by the way, not Ro. Oh, okay. I just want yeah. you to know that. <laughs> Can you Ian? Important yeah. distinction. Can. Real quick, describe like the wh- where that spiral staircase was again. It's it's not a staircase. It's like a a ramp. Oh, and it's just sense. it's just like after you went through that door, you just meet pretty much a wall, a wall to the right, and then a descending hallway ramp down into a spiral. Gotcha. Is that where the arm is telling us to go? Yeah, the arm is definitely telling you to go that way. All right. Well, we follow um, the arm. Go. So, I'm using it like a metal detector. So as you like descend, 
as you're descending this hallway, you do note that there are no cameras on the way down here. And Interesting. Uh, every once in a while, you come across some some doors. Um, and like to the right of you so they would be sort of towards the inside of the spiral and the first door you notice says death protocol uh is my arm like going no. towards that it's not no. okay death protocol. no it's telling us to go down okay <laughs> Um, however, death protocol was the thing that overrided Talos. No, that was Vesuvius. That was Vesuvius mm. protocol. Oh, the Vesuvius protocol, sorry. Yeah. I mean, it's still a protocol, I think. I think it's worth checking, yeah. Um, given the fact that I was able to hack into the systems, um, I'm not sure how deeply or how much info I got from that, from when we were initially getting in and I did that. I'm not sure if uh, I learned anything about the protocols or anything like that. <laughs> so here's that a, uh, success. Here's an interesting thing about that is that the, it's like the data is there, but it can't be accessed unless you're in the room. I don't really like that. It's like another, it, it feels like another layer of security to ensure that pe only people that were maybe working on whatever this project is could access the data. Maybe? I would like to go into the room. Okay. Yeah, I think that would Not be everybody else good. has to. I'm saying this as Kaz. So you open Lane the will say it. If I, I, I get do want to go in then. Too. Alright, so you open the door and uh, reload your last save. You are dead. No, I'm kidding. Fuck! Yeah, you, open, love that. you open the door. <clears throat> well, it said death protocol. Why would you. No. You open the door, <laughs> and inside, um, inside the room is a series of four tanks with sort of a green. They look like they have a green kind of gassy mist in them. Oh. I thought you meant like military tanks, and I was like, oh, yeah. No, I'm sorry. Well, like, I, like, what? Like a bit more like a. Bio tanks. Bio Are there any. Uh, oh, yeah. Is there any sort of like interface that. Uh, or a computer or anything like that within the room that we can see? There is. Or that what Lane looks can pick to be. There, there is what looks to be an interface at the end of the room that's a little bit of a holographic projector. It's not on, but. Lane, Lane, you have oh, fuck with access it. to this. No, no, you have access to the information now. Because we're in the room. Oh, yeah. Do you, uh, <laughs> do you proceed further into the room? <laughs> to get back if to Lane her. makes that step, Kaz will mom arm. <laughs> yeah, Lane will start walking into the room and get mom arm. Oh, just Nemesis, go, no! Kaz will also mom arm Nemesis. What did I do? I mean, if, if, if you're in your room, this room, if you have death purview, like, something death related is in this room, yes. The row kind of on the precipice just says, so do we think the death protocol is in case someone dies or to make someone die? I think and it's in regards to say. death gods, probs, yeah. Can you Can read? look in the files? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, files. I'm gonna try and, uh, that's a raven that shit. Well, okay, not so really that's a raven, I think, but, you know. I think with your, your remote access, you would have to step through the door, but you don't necessarily have to get yeah. close to the tanks. Oh, for yeah. sure, um, yeah. I assume, I assume that, that we, like, we went in the room, yeah. Okay, so as Kaz had said, so if you try to access the inner information, the 
the holographic display that appears to look like what you think you remember that is that doctor that was with Anubis appears. Okay. This asshole. And it just says, you know, it's holographic. Um, it gives you the, it gives you almost like a feeling it's a recording. Yeah, what a douchebag to like make his own. Um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> and it just says like. Death protocol, early experimentation. One of our early death experiments was with these creatures. We were reserved enough to realize they show up roughly before specific deaths. This data was past the Fate Weave project and we realized we could summon them by causing death. This in turn taught us much about how to manipulate the underworld and visualize the death soul concept. At this point though, weaponization of these specters seems ideal. And then it shuts off. Uh, that just makes me think of like a oh god, what are they? Is it whippoorwills? No, psychopomps. As cast, do you, it, are there are there ghosts in those tanks that we can't see? To to let whoever sees ghosts, I, don't, I forget who. Like Lane. Yeah, Lane will sort this, of so. like yeah. listening yep. to that. If I could make any uh, assumptions about things, at least like in Megan's brain, I'm thinking psychopomps, but uh, I'm not sure if Lane would like pick up on anything in particular, I, I undead s- related. Right. So I would say that the feeling you get is not necessarily ghosts because you're all used to seeing ghosts and talking to ghosts. The feeling you get is something related to death and this feeling, this like overwhelming feeling that someone is going to die soon. Yeah, can I look in the tanks? Good. Yeah, what's in them? If you get closer to one of the tanks, there is a loud thump as whatever's in the tank comes up against it and a skeletal face with waving stringy hair appears to be screaming but it's not you can't hear it are you a wraith i can't hear you either i don't like this place um, uh, actually, actually, Ro, if you have an occult role, happily, yes, please. Uh, I am also very good with occult shit, I will say, and I'm great with post mortem and ghost shit. It is and not a ghost. Just intellect? Go. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Oh! oh intellect. Ooh. Okay. Oh, we've got a couple of explodings. Let me count my successes first. Dr. Pond, what are you doing? Three, four, and two exploding. Oh, well, I've just thrown one on the not on the floor, there we go. Nice. That's the two exploding. That's seven I'm also great. successes. How many? Seven. Seven? Yeah, you're from Ireland. That's a fucking banshee. Mm-hmm. Did you say that that's not a ghost? It's well, not it's not technically. A ghost. They're, yeah, she's a Ben. She is the the she is the Fey and Ben is a woman. So um, anyway, I'm about I'm to get also great with cryptids and the supernatural. I'm, I'm familiar with the women in white. A scion of the Tuatha de Danann and the Morrigan. This is my field. All I'm saying is that I'm familiar. I've 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 hunted down a Bro. couple of them. Oh, oh you've met a banshee, them? have you? Bro. You've just I met one now. Bro. Oh no, I haven't met one. I would no, rather. No, you've just one met one now. That's in the tank. That's a banshee. Bro. Yeah. What do you think this thing would do if we let it out? Scream. Well, it's highly debated whether there will shepherd's death or simply announces it, so I'm not sure I'd want to try. Seems cool to leave it in here. Yeah. 
I mean, if they're... Could we... Us death purview uh, folks... Is there a way to kind of get like the... Can we vibe check these, uh, these, these Can we vibe these check the bitch? I'm sorry, can we vibe check the bitch? <laughs> like, I, um, I'm i just thinking from the perspective of, like, Lane knows of, I assume, like, a great deal of the entities that are meant to pass folks on to the, like, okay. next yeah. life, considering yeah. their, like, bullshit. Uh, you think if you probably let the Banshee like out... Too. It's going to scream and be very uncomfortable yeah. for everyone involved. Like, it mm. might not try... We'd like to... You don't think it would try to kill you necessarily, but, like, nobody likes to hear the cry of a banshee. Okay. But <laughs> would so they are, leave? Or would they just We are trying chill? to be... We're trying to, to not draw attention to us. Right, but I was just thinking but... it would be a hell of a distraction. Yeah, if we need a distraction on our way out, that's a... Yes. That's a kicker. On the way out. Fine. Because Come on, let's keep going. People might not think I have a heart, however, I, I think that on our way out, if we let out all of those scions down there, I wouldn't be opposed. On, on our way out. On our way out. I support that. It feels wrong to leave them if we can help it. And maybe the banshees, banshees and anything will else help included. Out. Maybe those leprechauns will cause some havoc too. So there's leprechauns and banshee down here. Right. This is a very yeah. There. The, it's. Have you guys sh seen Shrek? No. Can I've just going? had my own fucking folklore to deal with. Can we go? This is wild, y'all. I just, I am having an experience. Yeah, let's let's keep going. This has got to be what all of the Sami people feel like when they see Christmas movies. Can we, can we, can we, can we go follow your arm to the end of the rainbow? Lucky charms and bullshit. Let's go. Hey, man, I am not part of that. No, uh, you're not. Oh. So stop talking about it. Shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lane will just like kind of stick their everyone arm out. <laughs> okay. So as you as you continue down, um, Ro hasn't spiral. been an asshole for five minutes. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you you do valid. You do come across another door that says security coding protocol. Ooh. That's what the I have security. I'm so fucking good. Kaz and I will hack the shit out of this place. Because if we can remotely, in character, we can remotely, let's go into the room. If, we, if there, if this is how, what accesses the entire facility on our way out, if we release everything. That is a hell of a distraction. Let's see yes. what's in there. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> in okay. character, Lane is saying this. Let's see what the two of you <laughs> yes, can do. Yes, then. yes, yeah. yes. You open the door, and in the door appears to be what is a sphinx hooked up oh. to a lot of wires oh. into its like head, and it is just oh. repeating zero one zero zero one zero one zero one oh, zero no, zero. No, no. They one, firewalled zero. the place they through a fucking sphinx. That's smart. Well, Can... shouldn't the Sphinx be allowed to tell riddles? Like, isn't that its shtick? It, yeah. In its, it's defense, it is saying it as if it's posing a question. Zero one, zero, zero, one, one? Uh, can Lane try to, like... binary. To, yeah, because we're all non-binary here. Uh, throwback. Uh, can Lane try to, like, decipher the also, binary? Also, remember that you you have access to the system. You could just read. Well, that's true, but, like, I, I'm not sure if the Sphinx is, like, kind of doing its own thing, so I'm just trying to, like... Maybe the system will tell you. That is true. 
Yeah. Also, if you have out. access to the system and and we don't, so you need to relay it to us, uh, like what each room is like about. <laughs> there's, there's another pad here that you could turn on. Yeah, I I would like to uh, try and interface and figure out what's going on here. Okay. It turns on, you see that, that sort of doctor person again, and he says, we've been using the Sphinx as a potential digital security upgrade. By examining its cerebral cortex, the Riddle protocol was developed. Combining the usual firewall and redundancies with these endless riddles, it had the effect of baffling most hacks. Divine hacks are still an issue, but it's hoped that new research on the Sphinx will aid this as well. And he disappears. Um... Is that something that everybody can witness when I do that? Yeah, it comes on just like it just comes cool. on. Like okay. It's like recording. Yeah. I would like to see if I can try and interface with the Sphinx and try to break through the mix of like riddles and binary code to see if I can. I can also help because I have uh, security systems and then your, in your, your advantage thing. Hell yeah. To make it a little easier, I think that it's very difficult to hack into the Sphinx because it is in fact a living Sphinx. So what they've appeared to have done is hooked up a bunch of wires to its brain and then they're using the electronic reverberations from its brain sort of telling riddles to enhance their own security. So, but understanding that gives you a little bit more insight into their security protocols. So we can give you like a plus one enhancement on future hacks. Rather than okay. rolling for it. Cause... Okay. Yeah, I just, I am also just like very curious to see if there's a way that I can like unhook the sphinx or like communicate with the sphinx itself because like i feel pretty bad for this this creature and lane is fascinated with the sphinx they wrote a D, &D campaign that was specifically focused on the, the the egyptian gods and uh they had a high focus on the sphinx being uh high-ranking members of all of the different cities and this is not Megan speaking, this is definitely Lane speaking. I feel like Lane tried to talk to Ro about this several times, but Ro was just entirely too high to understand any of it. Look man, it just, it's a simple game, it's very easy, you just roll d20s. That's so, all you like, have to do. Sounds you don't great, have to, I'm glad you're having You don't have to roll fun. a bunch of d10, but like all you have to do is <laughs> um, Wait, so. glad you're having a good time, you go um, play with your friends. Unhooking it would be, I think, a medicine check. Because this, oh, this is okay. clearly a medical procedure. But. <clears throat> I am very good with medicine. Case in point, um, what you know about sphinxes, like, are you sure it's not just going to immediately wake up, ask you a riddle, and then try to murder you? I don't care. We have other things to do. Yeah. Hey man, but if we answer the riddle correctly, I mean, we have other one, things we're to gonna do, we're gonna free it though. It'll be happy. It'll be pleased. on our way out. Lane, really do you want to find Osiris? Too long. On, let's let's Possibly stick to it. We'll free sphinxes and banshees and chupacabras and stuff later. If we believe that unhooking the sphinx allows everything else to escape, if we believe that can be the case, then it's gonna happen. Well, if this is hooked up to its security system, we're essentially disabling the security system. I if think we might die in the process Cyrus first. It is not hooked up to and the that... security system. Thank it you, is, God. Oh, I thought that it, it was. Is an enhancement. It is Thank an you, enhancement God. <laughs> to the, yeah, it says, God says. Um, it's an, it, they're using, like I said, they're using its electronic brainwaves to enhance their own security system. So it will uh, cripple their security systems no, if we. It will not. It's like they've already done the. Shush! Shut up, God! Not to shut you down. <laughs> we, you we, we need to me. find Osiris. Hey, do you we remember when you Osiris. wanted to go uh, be a tourist in a museum when the rest of us were following a handprint? 
Do you remember that? Do you no. want to go now? I have no memory of this place. Yeah, let's. <laughs> No, let's, Out of character, let's thank find, you for letting let's me find my you. dad. I appreciate you as a person. No, I am find your dad. More, I'm more mean. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah to... let's go find my dad. Listen, I think that this is, this is as long as Megan as a person is not upset about this, I think that this is very in character for Lane to just kind of take this as a museum and a rescue trip and get distracted oh, yeah. and while everybody else is just like, we need to find your fucking dad. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Like, <laughs> like, but like, wait, there's a cool... There. Rose canonically a bit of a turd, so as long as we're good above the table, just, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're good. It's just no. Lane at every possible instance of mythical creature is like, shit, let's deal with this. Like, let's, I want these to be my best friends. Come on, guys. I've been it's looking like, for this in my camcorder for ten years. Yeah. Right. He's just like, let me take a picture. <laughs> so, All right. All right. Down the we'll hall. See if we can, yep. We'll see if we can do something hall. with that sphinx on the way out. Let's go. Yep. If you continue down the hall, there are two more doors. One says pharmaceuticals. One says financial. But Deal then with it you, on our way out, I think. But if you if you get further down, you can see the end of the spiral is opening up into a larger chamber. Yeah. I'm just gonna say spiral. Out of character, Ian, you've made me too curious about what's behind each of these doors now. <laughs> I don't know if I can't indulge that. <laughs> we don't have to go in and address the problem, I just want to know what's behind each of them. Well, you can. So we had financials and we had... Pharmaceuticals. 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 What if we just, just, just cracked it back in character? Planet. What if we just cracked open each of the doors just to make sure Let's there's nothing Let's go find it? a god first. Yeah, if I don't god get first, to free a sphinx, uh, you don't get to look in the pharmaceuticals door, Ro. Okay. It just feels like the world is designed in an intricate and depthy way, and I might want to understand that. <laughs> Yeah. It but sounds guess, like no. whatever overarching god is trying to put things in our path for some reason, and we're just trying to play their little game, like little puppets, and we'll just do whatever the god wants us to do. Oh, so now you want to move forward. <laughs> What's in the big chamber? You know, yeah, yeah if, let's if, go if, towards the arm. Don't so think now is the time the for conspiracy theories? Yeah. Oh, this is this, this is the this is the best part for conspiracy theories. Here we go. Um, this is my time to shine. I'm taking out my fucking camcorder. As, as you as you get to the the end of the spiral, you open up into a larger room, and in this room, what was what appears to be almost like one of those large holographic globes, except it's not a globe. It looks like almost like a ball, a rolled up ball of twine, or like loose fitting like rubber band. And there is an individual kind of working around it. This, this, this whatever it is, he's like working on an interface of some sort and not really acknowledging you. Not a human? He's something. With my, uh, like, Sent the Unseen, or not Sent the Unseen. Sent the Divine? Sent the Divine. Uh, am I, uh... Yes. Is my nose twinging? There's something, kind? there's something divine about this individual. Lane will, uh, <laughs> note that to the crew. That's just not one? Osiris, right? Just one. And they're they're like pulling at twine. There there's Red. this big kind of like rubber band ball kind of looking thing that's holographically projected above him, and he's kind of working at an interface of it. He's not actually pulling on anything. Are there um, any like features about them that stand out? Just he looks he looks a lot like a standard lab technician. Hmm. 
And actually, I'll put these on because they're ridiculous, but they work for the character. So he's wearing this. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. yes. You weld in there, buddy? Are you going to put it down? Five more seconds. Ace, did you okay. want to say that? No, if you... Yeah, and so what happened is when you, as soon as you addressed him, he says five more seconds, counts down from five, and then turns around to you. I, I, What's this about? To wait five seconds because that puts us in a better place for probability for the right outcome for all of this. What outcome is that? Probability. Well, I, I, the outcome, the outcome where, I, I don't know, like you rescue Osiris and you all don't die. We appreciate you. Great, a balance. Who's the you? Oh, yeah. Well, that's complicated. Um, I'm, I'm Nostradamus. Not like the oh. Nostradamus. Okay, listen, but not no. the Nostradamus. No, just listen. Not the Nostradamus. That's just what people call me. But I'm also the Nostradamus. I'm, I, I think it's uh, the way it works. I'm a clone. Scion of. No, not a scion. They, they took his DNA and made me. So I think technically I'm a clone, but it's more complicated than that because I think I've got elements of like the Oracle of Delphi in me, uh, some Norns. Uh, I don't think they got a fate. And then somewhere up here, there's a bit of an old supercomputer. And it's just, you can understand why this is also confusing for me. And they created you. Okay, so. In a man of speech. Friend or yeah. foe. Oh, I'm not here to hurt you. Are you, are you here to let other people hurt us? No. If anything, I'm, I think I'm here because I'm supposed to be here. That's at least supposed to help us. Well, the, as much as you can be helped, yes. The rubber band ball. What's that? This is a fate weave. Yep. Cool. Thought so. so okay. The threads of fate. Yeah, kind of. Except this one's more complicated, and I think that's why they created me. Is putting all these crazy fate reading, future predicting wackos up here. They were trying to see what other realities would be like, or if they could affect fate, or if they could change it, or if... <laughs> they were so I'm sorry, wait, so... other realities? Yeah, the there's like... can affect fate, right? And that's the thing, is I think that these folks, the, the big head honcho of this group, wants to change fate. Particularly because, uh, well, your kind is more affected by such things, right? Um, but they can't, they can't figure it out. They're too, they're too linear. They're too linear. This is not linear. Here, let me show you. And he turns to the the thing. Look here. This particular piece here. And he, he grabs one of the strands. I pulled this just a touch. I moved the stock market crash to 1928. Right? You follow so far? Yeah. You don't you don't have to. This isn't the important part. Look, up here. Do you see what happened? No, of course not. Pull on one thread, it affects all the others. Right. Ripples so, in a pond. If you look here, I pulled this, but in, not in that reality, but in another one up here, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Secret of the Ooze came out two years later. What did that change? No, I didn't. Much. Well, did it bomb? So what you're saying is that it was phenomenal, but down the line is obviously World War Three. 
So, in that you're reality. saying that if you pull one of these strings, that Kate Bush's running up that hill will be appreciated during its time versus 20 plus years later in no, a I, uh, in a in a show. No, I think that's one of the constants. Assuming that there is oh. a Kate Bush in every reality. Oh, there definitely should be. The UK always liked her at the right time. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> So this is. So they're trying to sort out the events that are catastrophic and not the ones that are mundane, right? They're trying to figure out the canon events. Or yes, are that they is trying insightful. to change it to their own favor rather than. You know, you should really watch this life. one movie. Blaine. I was speaking. So I'm I sorry. Could. I'm sorry, bro. But see, that's the thing, is that when I pulled that stock market crash, so for instance, no matter what I did, I couldn't move the stock market crash. So nemesis, that, that yeah, your nemesis, that's right. I, I saw yeah. it. Um, there are constants. And even if we move them, sometimes they show up in other realities, sometimes they... You know, there's there's presumably always a Kate Bush, presumably there's always Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Secret of the Ooze. Um, these things always happen. And so, no matter how much you pull, there's gonna be things that always happen. That's what they don't get. Some things are bound by fate. Well, this is especially you. Yeah. Can you tell us where can you tell us where Osiris is? Not yet. Fair enough. Soon. Again, the probability I'm trying us? to I'm trying to we don't have a lot of time before uh, this uh... Oh, that's gonna be messy. But we don't have a lot of time before I'm gone. How do you pull at that pole? Hold on, just... that's not relevant. So you're gonna die? Mm, yeah, I die most of the time. Okay, so how do we... How do we write what they did? What's the possibility? What's the probability? What do you see that can help us write what they did? How would I put or that? What they're doing? Now, there's already a wrongness that happened. That, that something else that happened in another reality moved the one in this reality. Okay, but. Certain events are still going to happen. I think their plan in this reality is to cause Ragnarok. See, it's not their job mm -hmm. to cause Ragnarok. It's yours. Mine. For what I read, yeah. When? So, it's our job to cause Ragnarok to keep them from causing Ragnarok? That's not your only job, but like, uh, I, I don't think they can cause Ragnarok if they tried. But Ragnarok might be the only thing that stops them. And it's gonna happen one way or another. If we start it, uh, can we stop it? Maybe. So, the ending are you on saying that there's not written in stone? It's not on the cloud yet. How would I put it? But you're gonna have to make a choice. So it's gonna happen regardless. So it's either we start it or they do. Yeah. We're going out. 
I think there's implications if they start it. I haven't been able to see that far. Probably because I'm here. There's another Nostradamus somewhere there. I don't know. It's crazy. All right. Nostradamus 2. Does Ragnarok happen in every reality or just this one? Do we make Ragnarok happen in every reality or just this one? I think in most of them. Yeah. It's y'all. Does that usually turn out good? It's good. For us? Ragnaroks can be. Do we make it out okay? I think that's one of the non-constants. Is what you do with it once it starts. I mean, maybe you can do better than, than these shits or the other shits, you know? Who else is kept here? Osiris? And are there any other head honchos? Big gods? No other gods here. They... They got particularly good at uh, grabbing up the Egyptian ones. Um, that seems pretty fucked up. It has to do with the, the, the Netjer having ties to their names, so... Getting a hold of their names and getting a hold of stuff that uh, pulled them in was a little easier. Hades, yeah. for example, would just go back to his room and, and, and pout instead of coming out. Can you, uh, can you tell us now where Osiris is? You'll find him soon enough. Um, but, you know, uh, while I'm here, can I answer anything about you all? Anything about... I mean, he's, the hatch is over there. He's gonna be down the hatch. He's a little... Do you know uh, how to get Loki... Do you know how to release Loki? So he kind of looks at you, you know, kind of lowers these things, which I'm not going to keep super low because now it's really wacky vision. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, he's in there, but he's not in there. Oh, uh, don't know. He said he's stuck. Wait. He said. That Kaz, are you saying? Are you are you saying that? Loki is inside of you right now? I think he's, like, stuck in my consciousness. I don't know. That's... Stuck in your consciousness? I, he's, I could, he's in my head. I don't know. But he's stuck there. Well, like the cranberries. Well, he's... I think he's dead. From the last I heard. I don't get all the news down here, but I'm pretty sure he's dead. Um, that being the case, he's probably not your dad. It implies something else, doesn't it? What does it imply? Something. I'm not sure on this. It's almost like it's like you're both on some kind of wavelength, right? Yes, he sees what I see, hears what I hear. I mean, but he doesn't control me. I have my own autonomy. If anything, he's the one that doesn't have it. Yeah, I wonder if he's in there. Okay, well, uh. We're down to about five seconds. Damn. Till... till what? 
Does kill. Ragnarok start the way they all say? And he's not able to finish before a bullet goes through his head. <laughs> oh, yeah. He says, Fuck. <laughs> seven seconds was two off and falls over. He mentioned the hatch, right? Yep. So Everybody get it. I to know. There. A bullet went through his head. We need to go. Down the hatch. Get Osiris. Get out. <laughs> no. Here we go. But you all have a greater problem. Yeah, people shooting. Well, and then you, you, you can see the figure that has descended down who fired the shot. And As we're we, making our way to the hatch. Wait. Right? Who is the figure? Ian. The figure? God. God. I didn't even call you that. The figure appears to be a person in a sort of a, a blazer and a cowboy hat with sunglasses on. And he's flanked oh, by God. what appears to be uh, a brass minotaur. Um, I don't recognize this minotaur, do I? Now you do, yeah. From a dream. <sighs> don't you have something better to do than talking to some insane person? I, I was kind of in the middle of something. This this wasn't voluntary. You're wasting precious time that we could be using to make our own plans. For what? Doing what must be done for killing Odin. Why why do you need me for that? Why is this my business? Because I am stuck in your head. Yeah, I so realize maybe... that. And, you know, I get the feeling that there's just something you're not telling me. I'm not tell you anything. Just you listen to me. You see what I me. see. Right. No, you listen to me. You see what I see. So you know that I had a nice little chat with Nostradamus. Yes. What about it? Ragnarok? Yes, Ragnarok. What yeah, about why it? did it make it... Why did he make it seem like... Like I'm the one who has to start it. Probably because you're stuck with me. If I'm in there, then someone... Well, in here, I should say. If I'm in here, that means someone has taken me from out there and possibly put me in you. Which means it's your job to do what I'm supposed to do. No. It's not my job. You... What? What? Why? Why me? Why am I stuck with you? I'm not your kid, aren't I? No, if you were my child, I feel like I would know. To be honest, I'm a bit at a loss at what you are exactly, but we have a connection. A very yeah, if you want to call it that. distinct connection in which I am trapped in your head. Which means that you... doesn't mean I'm going to do your dirty deeds. I don't know if you have a choice. If I'm in there, then perhaps we're fate-bound. Which means you're bound to my fate. Maybe I'm to yours. But I'm making the decisions here. Not when I have the willpower 
to resist you. Now, why would you want to do that? I'm not gonna fucking kill Balder. There's no reason to. He doesn't threaten me. He doesn't threaten anything that I want to do. You've and killed before. How hard can it be? Just because I have doesn't mean that I want to. I do it to protect myself. And to get to an end goal. An end goal that I want, by the way. I don't want the fucking world to end. We're trying to prevent that. Why? It's, it's what is worth saving. You could build a new world. You could rule a new world. I don't want to fucking rule a new world. I just want to exist in the life that I worked very hard to build. That we worked very hard to build. You didn't do shit. You weren't there with me, foster home to foster home. You weren't there when I got kicked out of school, and when I got expelled. <laughs> Wasn't I? You're not my fucking father. No, you weren't. Don't try to do your stupid silver tongue gaslighting to me, okay? I'm not gonna fall for it. I do it very well myself. Maybe, just maybe, everything that's happened to you has happened to you because you're tied to me. I know what it's like to be an orphan. I know what it's like to be passed around between fathers and mothers. You and I are one and the same. And after seeing all that, you still want to keep it. I can't believe you. Just because you didn't get over your daddy issues doesn't mean that I have to be stuck in your position. Like I said, I built a life for myself that I worked very hard for. And I want to... Hmm. Do you think they'll let you keep it? Who's they? Them. The enemy. Hell, yeah, Baldur, Odin, Thor, Tyr. If I don't give them a reason to take it away, yeah. Guess what? Killing Baldur is a reason for them to take it away. Oh, they'll come take it away. Yeah, I hope they take you away. You know what, maybe that's my next step after all of this. Find Odin, or whoever can help me, get rid of you. Why do you think I'm gone? Why do you think I'm in there? Go to somebody else. <laughs> Make you their problem again. Or that easy. Someone wanted me out of the way. That's why I'm here. But I'm not so easy to get rid of. I'm not going to become the villain just because you want to get your way. Mm. I'm not the best mm. person, I get that, I realize that, I've done some fucking shit. That doesn't mean I'm anything like you. Hmm. No. Perhaps not. But for now, you are my mask. Well, if you're going to be here, do something useful. Like, not fucking hold secrets. 
If you know how to help us, I mean, would you rather just stay stuck in my head? Let's play a game. I like games. Yeah. I you know. You ask me a question, and then I'll answer it, honestly. And then I guess I get one. Maybe I'll even give you this one for free, just so you trust me. I doubt it, but okay, go ahead. No, you can go first. What do you want to know? What did you do that pissed everybody off so bad? That they had to put you inside a human's head. Hmm. I thought you had figured that out already. Well, so, for Ragnarok to begin, and for certain fates to be realized, I have to exist. Maybe, just maybe, someone didn't want that to happen. Or perhaps someone wanted to take it into their own hands, and so they eliminated me. But see, I'm not so easy to eliminate. If I had to guess, I died. I went to my underworld, my, my daughter's place, and uh, got shot right back up here. And now I'm here, and you. Because I needed your knife to finish the work. And there couldn't have been anybody else. I don't make the rules. Okay. What do you want to know? What are you so afraid of? Why don't you let go? What, what holds you back from being what you should be, what you can become? Maybe because I'm not a power-hungry asshole who wants to rule the world? It doesn't take power to rule the world. Just a little cut here, a little cut there. First of all, ruling the world is power. Um, and I don't want that. I've never wanted that. If I did, I would have made it happen. I'm very resourceful. But no! What I do is just steal things to have enough money to live a life that I would love to have. And then I get dragged into all of this. So am I scared of anything? I mean, yeah, I'm scared of the fucking world ending and having to be the cause of it. When the world ends, Do you want to be a passenger or the driver? It's not gonna happen. This ragtag team that I'm stuck with, they're not bad people. And they've all been through some shit too. And if they can get over it enough, to want to help, then 
I can, I can get over myself. And everything, everything will be solved with again with the power of friendship. Oh, it's adorable. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's really the friendship. I think it's um, all of our power combined, sort of thing. Hmm. Captain Planet or Power Rangers or something like that. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I had a shitty childhood. I don't remember anything. Makes me sick. But. Yeah, well. For now, I've learned something that you didn't want to tell them. You do care for them. That's naive, but adorable. Maybe it will get you through this. Ah, but for right now. You should probably stop talking to yourself and get ready to face well, whatever's out there. Got any tips? <laughs> Move fast. Right. Until next time. <laughs> Thanks for nothing.